Good morning, guys. Today I want to share out of the book of Hebrews. I'm going to read uh, from chapter 8, verse 10. Uh. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws into their minds, and I will write them on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. So, this is a description, part of the scripture of the New Covenant, which is uh, the Gospel, which is the uh, birth, life, death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus Christ. Because um, once Jesus died for our sins, shedding his blood, with the blood of a perfect, innocent man, devoid of sin, simply because Jesus could not sin because he was God on earth. Um, his blood was pure. His blood wasn't tainted by sin like man's was. And... And during the first covenant, um, it was required for blood to atone for sin. So, the Levites would have to sacrifice bulls, doves, goats, you know, the blood of animals to make that atonement. Well, God sent Jesus on earth. To be a final and perfect sacrifice for sin. And when Jesus fulfilled that promise. He then promised that he would send us the Holy Spirit. And it's the Holy Spirit who puts the laws of God into our mind. And it's the Holy Spirit who writes them on our hearts. And that's how we are identified as being God's people. Um, you know, Christ did this so there would be no more no more need for sacrificing of animals. His sacrifice was sufficient. It was a willing sacrifice. He knew what he was doing. He was tearing that barrier between uh, man and God. In fact, the moment of his death and the releasing of his soul, commending his spirit to God, there was a great earthquake, and during that great earthquake, the veil that was between the holy and holies and the and the tabernacle split in two, symbolizing the um, the end of the first covenant because of what Jesus did we now have open one on one accessibility to God through Christ and through Christ all of our sins and transgressions are forgiven um And this is a free, merciful gift that God has given us all. But you have to say yes. You have to say yes that you do believe that Christ did come on this earth through a virgin. That he did live a sinless life. That he did die on that cross shedding his blood for your sins. And that he 
defeated death by rising from the grave and then ascending into heaven. And right now, sitting at the right hand of God. All you have to do is believe. You don't have to do anything. You just have to believe and say yes. And then Jesus Christ will send that Holy Spirit into you. Start etching His words and His laws in your heart. And um, start working in you. And as long as you're repentant and confess that sin when you say yes, rest assured you're saved and, you're, and, and you will get to know God more intimately. So, I love you guys. Have a blessed day and we'll see you tomorrow.